How you doing folks? Welcome back to Crafted Replications. Apologize for being away so long. Um, there's been a few bereavements in my family and uh, the friends and so on since August of last year. And just as Liz Jewish would say, hi Liz, how you doing? Life just gets in the way sometimes and life did get in the way. Um, it set me back a wee bit, didn't take it too well. I was, uh, I think first of all, back there in uh, November, I uh, lost my, my big buddy, our Roscoe, Ross Marks, fantastic man, brilliant man, brilliant mate, great friend, taught me a lot and I learned a lot by him. And my wee mother, wee mum, she passed away there in April, so she did. Um, draws at your heartstrings a wee bit. Three other, two other family members, two aunts, and uh, a guy I was, I was trying to look after, trying to help out with the wee um, problem he was having, but the wee problem got the better of him in the end. Uh, so that's all. That's that's what's happened. And Moni telling you here as an explanation because it did put out in the channel that it would give an explanation, and that's why I've been away so long. There he is, good man. You've probably seen him in a video before, and that's me use his workshop and so on for bigger things and stuff like that there and I still work around there and I with his wife Margaret um fantastic woman uh still do bits and pieces but that's sort of way what's like it, it, things got to me a wee bit and uh that's it that's my excuse but um back on the horse again now back at it and uh getting back on with the woodwork and stuff the only wee video out here, it's not fantastic, I don't think, or nothing like that there, but it gives a bit of explanation of how I rendered the outside of the Tam Piggy house. Um, there's, uh, it, it basically sped through, because it is a quick bit boring, but I thought I'll put it out there, and then that'll get me back in it again. Also, while I have been um, being 100% that I was uh, done the table for a friend of mine, um, I know it's not a miniature or anything like that there, or it's not a house or replication, but, um, it's actually part of a tree, so it is. It's a table, but it's like part of a tree chopped. And so I'm going to put that on the channel just as a bit of interest, so as you can see what I was doing when I wasn't doing what I'm normally doing. Um, Rams on a bit, aren't I? Let's get on with the video. Hope you enjoy it. And don't forget, if you do, give us a wee like, give us a subscribe, and uh, all you guys and stuff like that there who are subscribed, thank you so much for bearing with me thank you so much for sticking with me i, can, I don't see anybody that's unsubscribed or nothing like that there so how you all doing the faithful all right speak to you soon cheers see you later <laughs> of uh, sand and PVA which uh, to show you how to do. I uh, haven't done this before so let's see how it goes. The reason why I'm using this here is because I want a gentle stipple as opposed to what I would normally use with the uh, with the plaster mix. So I'm going to pop this on here. I've already done a test piece, dried it quickly under the grill and it seemed to, it seemed to come up quite well so it did. So I'm going to actually use it on the building as I say this is just fine sand and uh, PVA <coughs> excuse me PVA glue but I uh, just want just a glimpse of the stipple because of the scale of this job obviously same rules apply you don't want to be leaving brush marks in it do you so make sure that you Get it on first, and then get everything else to disappear after that there. If you do get a bit on the likes of the window surrounds here, and the uh, architrave down the side, make sure you wipe it off, because I'm not sure exactly how long this takes to dry at the moment. Use are watching this as a test piece, as well as me doing it as a test piece. Because as I say, the test piece that it did do, I tried it under the grill. Just to make sure that when it did dry, I got the finish that I wanted. 